Let's for the example install Google Chrome browser. So for this I will just type here. Hello everybody, you are on Andrei Mikhailovich channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run Linux Mint 21.1 version on Windows computer. And for this you just need to install VirtualBox and of course Linux Mint ISO file. That's all. Also, I will show you the basic feature of this operating system, how it works, how to install apps and other software without command line. It is very easy. So before this video start, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. So let's get it started. Okay guys, for the beginning we need to open our browser. In my case it will be Google Chrome browser. Click on it. And then you need to type next. Virtual box. And press enter. After that you may see virtual box. And here you may see downloads. You need to click on it. So guys, we are on virtual box official website. And here you may see VirtualBox 7.0.4 platform packages. And if you use Windows, you need to select Windows host. Click here. And now you just need to wait until VirtualBox will be downloaded on your laptop or computer. So friends, we already download VirtualBox on our computer. And now we can open new page. And now we need to type next. Linux mint and press enter so here you may see linux mint distribution and we need to find download click on it and now we need to scroll down a little bit and we need to find another time download we are on the linux official website click here okay friends on this page you may see linux mint 21.1 version and the code name Vera. And here we can scroll down a little bit and we see information about the size of our ISO file. So we can scroll down another time and we can download the version that will suit our location. So we can see the world, so probably it will suit most user, Canada, United States. So for the example, I will install international version. Click here. As you can see, it is 64 bit version. And now you also need to wait until ISO file will be downloaded on your machine. My friends, I already download VirtualBox and Linux Mint ISO file. So now we need to go to the folder where we downloaded our ISO file and VirtualBox. In my case, I need to go to the downloads. Click here and first of all, we will install VirtualBox. So for this, you just need to click on it, double clicking. In this window, we just need to click next. Another time next, warning network interface. Don't worry about that. It will reset your network connection. You just need to click yes, click yes and nothing complicated in this window. Another time you need to click yes, you need to install all recommended software that will be in this window and install so friends now you just need to wait until oracle vm virtual box will be installed on your laptop or computer as you can see i already installed virtual box on my laptop so i can uncheck this option and manually open virtual box click on it and we finally are in virtual box so to run Linux Mint on our virtual machine, you need to do next. You need to find this icon, new, click on it. In this window, we need to name our machine. For the example, I will type Mint. Also, you have option to select where you want to save your virtual box. But definitely, I recommend leave all by default. And the most important that you need to select it's ISO file. So here you may see ISO image. You need to click here and find other. Click here and voila. You need to go to the folder where you download your ISO file. 
in my case another time I need to go to the downloads and voila Linux Mint 21.1 version 64 bit click here and open okay friends after this stage you just need to click next another time click next I do not recommend to change anything in this window just click next my friends in this window we can manually select how many RAM and how many cores we want to use so in my case my system have only two cores and four threads so I can select from one core to two cores and as you can see we have the green line and the red line so if you move it to the red line that's mean it will work unstable so definitely you need to move it to the green line actually we will have five gigabytes of ram and definitely i think it will be more than enough i will uncheck this option because you may see enable efi special os only when this option is enabled on my old computer any operating system don't run in virtual machine so probably if you have a newer computer you can enable this option but in my case i just don't need it so i will remove this and click next in this window we can select how many space do we want to have and definitely you may see 25 gigabytes if you want to select more space you can just move this here or you can type how many gigabytes do you want to use for the example 50 gigabytes and after that you just need to click next so be sure to select this option and click next so friends we prepare our virtual machine and after that we can click finish and for the first time it will run automatically here you may see linux mint starting so now we just need to wait virtual box logo simply to understand to switch to full screen mode you need to press right control plus f so if you want to switch to full screen mode or if you want to switch from full screen mode you need to press right control plus f okay we will click here and we can close this window and now I will show you how it works I will press Ctrl plus F I get back to the window and another time Ctrl plus F switch and we are in the full screen mode so in this window we need to select start Linux Mint 21.1 64-bit press enter for people who use VirtualBox for the first time, you need to know that you can use keyboard without any problem. You do not need to press some special command, you can just use it. So friends, we are in the Linux Mint and now we have option to install it on our virtual hard disk. For this we need to click here, double clicking. Now we need to wait a few minutes. In this window we can select language. So I will select English and you can select the language that will suit you the best. And after that you need to click continue. I will select the first option English United States and click continue. Here we have another option. Multimedia codecs are required to play some video formats and properly render some websites. So I will install this option. I think it will be better for me and then i will click continue in this window you may see next message install installation type this computer currently has no detected operating system what would you like to do in this case i will select the first option and here you may see this will delete all your programs documents photos music and other file in all operating system but i mean we run it in virtual box so don't worry about that and after that you need to click install now okay I will click continue now we need to select our location and click continue so here you need to type your username so I will just type Andri okay and you can create a password as you wish
OK. And after you type your username and you create password, you need to click continue. And now you need to wait until Linux Mint will be installed on your virtual hard drive. And this process may take from 5 to 20 minutes and definitely it all depends on your hardware. Installation complete and now we can restart our virtual machine. Let's restart it. As far as I understand we need to press enter. OK. Another time we see VirtualBox logo. Oracle VirtualBox. And now I need to enter my password that I previously created. But to make it more convenient I will press Ctrl plus F to switch to full screen mode. Welcome to Linux Mint. Welcome to your new operating system. This welcome screen will guide you through your first step, show you how to find help and where to get more information about Linux Mint. Ok guys, thank you for creating another Linux distribution. But I will close this window. I want to look at Linux Mint. I want to remind you that usually I use Windows 10 but as far I understand Linux distribution, this Linux distribution, Linux Mint, looks quite similar to Windows. I will show you how to install apps and other software even without using Linux command. So for this you need to type next. Software Manager. Click here. My friends, in this window we have option to install games, program and other software. So for the example, let's click on games. Here we can install some games and you know, I find Steam. Let's for the example install Google Chrome browser. So for this I will just type here, Google Chrome. And here you may see Google Chrome browser, so we can click on it. And now we can just click install. Let's click continue. Installation process begin. And that's great. And we finally install our Google Chrome browser, so we can close this window. If we look to our desktop, we can't find Google Chrome browser, because usually if you install it on Windows, it will appear on our desktop. But in our case, we need to click here and we need to type Google Chrome. Google Chrome browser. And we can open it, but to make it more convenient, I will try to move it on our desktop like this. But even if we move it on our desktop like this, we can open it. So we can delete this. Delete. So to move Google Chrome browser on our desktop, we need to do next. Another time, click on applications. Type Google. After that, click on the right mouse button. And here you may find option. Add to desktop. Click on it. And voila! you may see Google Chrome browser on our desktop. So let's run it, double clicking. And one interesting thing, right now it forced me to create a password, but it's nothing complicated for me. OK, continue. I will uncheck these options, click OK. And voila, I can use Google Chrome browser. So let's for the example close this browser and another time open it. So the interest is will I another time see the same message about the password? No, I can just use Google Chrome browser. So for the example I will type next YouTube. Now I will try to find my channel Andri Tech. And also, if you want to find me on YouTube, you can just type Andre Tech. Hooray, I find my YouTube channel. OK, as you can see, Google Chrome browser work quite fine. So we can close this browser. Let's take a close look of the interface of Linux Mint. So if we click here, we can change the volume, the volume of the music 
and the volume of the microphone. Here we can see the time. If we click here, we see some internet settings, VPN connection. This icon definitely looked like security. Welcome to the update manager. Okay, security update, software update system, snapshots. If we click here, system report, system information. So friends, I already understand this information because for the first time it looked like Windows text document and here I understand that it runs on Linux kernel, virtual box and the specs of my system, Intel Core i3 of third generation 64 bit. And if we click here, we can see some notification. If we look here at the left corner, we see file manager. So if we click on it, we have option to look at our folder and our files. So definitely it is very convenient and it's remind me Windows. If we click here another time, we can type some commands like sudo. As far as I understand, this is quite important window and quite important option for all Linux user. And here you may see Firefox browser, but we actually install Google Chrome browser and in my opinion it more convenient than other browsers. So friends, I think it will be more than enough for today. So to save your information, you need to click here and we will have option save the machine state. Click OK. And that's all. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also, on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos and I will be gladful if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.